हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई पोस्ट वीडियोस ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी माय चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्कड सो आई स्टार्टेड टीचिंग अबाउट द इनफाइनाइट सीरीज वेर आई एक्सप्लेन मेनी टेस्ट टू चेक वेन अ सीरीज इज कन्वर्जेंट एंड वेन अ सीरीज इज डायवर्जेंट आई हैड मैंशन अ टेस्ट हियर इट वॉज द डिलेम्बर्ट रेशियो टेस्ट वेन द डिलेम्बर्ट रेशियो टेस्ट फेल्स देन वी आई दर यूज अ राबे टेस्ट और वी अप्लाई द लॉगरिथमिक टेस्ट After that, in the last class, I had told you about the logarithmic test and when it is used. However, if the logarithmic test also fails, in that case, we have to apply a second logarithmic test. And I am going to tell you how do we apply this test and what are the conditions for the series to be convergent here. So let's see. The first thing we talk about is the Delambert ratio test. If an infinite series is given to us, so the first thing we do is find its value. U n plus one upon one, and if suppose its value comes one and the test fails, then after that what do we do? In that case, we resort to the log test. And what do we have in the logarithmic test here? The value that we get is n log u n upon u n plus one. If its value also comes one, then this test also becomes unsuccessful. It fails. So students, what will we do next? we will find the value of limit n tends to infinity n log un upon un plus 1 minus 1 multiply by log n right for instance if we get its value here greater than 1 then what will happen the series will become convergent if it comes smaller than 1 then it will be divergent and if it comes equal then also the test will fail so this is what we are going to understand i will try to explain through an example let's say we have this question 1 plus 1 by 2 power p 1.3 upon 2.4 to the power p we have an infinite series given like this first of all we will take its nth term so the nth term of the series will be 1 3 5 up to 2 n minus 1 and in denominator we will write to 4 then 6 right and it will come up to the term 2 n and what is the value of its power here it is given p right what will we do here we will apply delambert ratio test so in this ratio test this is un and this will become un plus 1 Now what will we do here? Limit n tends to infinity. We will find the value of u n plus one upon u n. So when we will calculate its value, you can see here this is our u n plus one. This is our u n. So you can see this term is cancelled by this term. If this term cancels out with this term, then only this term will be left. If we will keep n tends to infinity because both have the same degree, then its value will come one right, and it means this test will fail. If the test will fail, then what we will do? We will apply the log test, right? What do we have in a log test? Whenever we have any nth term like this with power, we use the log test. Otherwise, we use the Rabe test. Right? You can check out the Rabe test video on the i button. So the limit n tends to infinity, and we will find the value of n log u n upon u n plus one. So this will come n log, and we have this value of u n upon u n plus one just reverse this term. So it will be u n upon u n plus one. We have u n plus one upon u n. We need its inverse, so we will reverse it and then apply log. So what will we get? We will get its value. Now we will need to simplify it here. Is it clear? So I want to tell you that when you will simplify this, then you will do log a by log b, right? Log a by b means log a minus log b, and we will take p common as the power of log is p. So this p will come here with n, and its value will be log a minus log b. We have also taken out n as common here and cancelled it out, right? Now we will apply the log one plus x series on this and in this place also, and I will show you when we will expand this series. Then what will we get here? So what is the series of log one plus x? Look here, I am writing it. So here this will be x minus x square upon two plus x cube upon three. So we will get here its term like this, and here it will be one plus one by n. When we will expand this series, so you will see that when we will expand the series of log one plus n, it will come one by n. Minus one by n square, one by two, right? This is how we will get the term. We will also apply the series of log one plus one by two n like this. It will be one by two n minus, and this will be one by four n square and one by two. So we will get the terms like this, right? If we subtract these two, then one by n will be common, so it will be one minus one by two n. If you take one by n square common from this, then this will become one by two, and we will get one by eight. So this is how we will get this term. Clear, students? Now what do we do here? This is NP, so this n will be multiplied inside, and when we will multiply it, this n will be cancelled. We will have the first term. If we will keep n tends to infinity, then these terms will become zero. So we will have p by two. 
what will be left in this only p by 2 will be left right what is this here which we will get so this p by 2 is the value of logarithmic test if you have not yet watched the last video of logarithmic test you can watch it through i button now we know that in the logarithmic test when you calculate the value of u n upon u n plus 1 limit n tends to infinity if its value is greater than 1 then it is a convergent which means if we have p by 2 greater than 1 then it will be convergent let's see when it will be convergent here so when this is bigger than 1 which means the value of p is greater than 2 we will multiply it by 2 right so when it will be divergent it will be divergent when the value of p will become less than 2 okay so guys when does our test fails when does the test in logarithmic test fails when the value of this p by 2 becomes equal to 1 so the test will fail when the value of p by 2 will become 1 that means when p by 2 becomes 1 students the moment 2 comes as the value of p our test will fail okay so when the logarithmic test fails what do we do we perform a second logarithmic test so what do we do in the second logarithmic test we know that in this it is limit n tends to infinity and here we will be having its value of n log u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 into log n so this is how we will calculate its value so what will we do here the limit n tends to infinity now you need to understand this n log u n upon u n plus 1 we have calculated this where did you get this term which you have calculated where did you get this value from we got this from n log of u n divided by u n plus 1 ok so now can we put this value of p if we write 2 in place of p we will get its value so I will put value of p as 2 so we will write this as 2 into 1 by 2 minus 3 by wait let me write this again minus 3 divided by 8 1 by n square plus and minus 1 into log so we will get the value you guys remember it right this is what we will get as its value on simplifying it are you understanding this now in this we will multiply this 2 so limit n tends to infinity so when it will be multiplied it will come 1 minus 3 by 8 right students if we will multiply this by 2 we will get 3 by 4 n square so we will get values like this and we will write minus 1 here into 2 log n so here we can see that 1 is getting cancelled by 1 so this will be limit and tends to infinity the value that we will get here is 3 by 4 n square and that will be negative this is how we will get the series into log n now we will multiply log n inside this here when you will solve at n tends to infinity then we will get its value and it will come 0 if its value comes 0 we know that if the value comes greater than 1 then it is convergent right but here it will come 0 which is less than 1 so when this is coming less than 1 it will be a divergent series if this value comes less than 1 then it is divergent right and if its value comes more than 1 then it is convergent so in this case when value of p is 2 it is divergent this means that for value of p greater than 2 it will be convergent and on values less than or equal to it will become divergent this is how we do it let's see an example you can follow this here I have explained it let's solve this next question test the convergence of series we have a series given here x plus x power 1 plus 1 by 2 plus x power 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 if I talk about its nth term this will be 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 and it will continue like this and then we will write 1 by n we know that we can calculate the un like this it will be x power 1 plus 1 by 2 and it will keep going like that up to 1 by n and here we will get un plus 1 as x power 1 plus 1 by 2 and it will continue like this this will come out to be 1 upon n plus 1 by n plus 1 now what will we do here we will apply the d Lambert ratio test so limit n tends to infinity this will come as u n plus 1 upon u n and here also limit n tends to infinity x power 1 plus 1 by 2 in this way we will continue thus it will come 1 by n plus 1 by n plus 1 divided by x plus 1 by 2 so students we will continue to get them in this way 1 by n you will see that the term which we will get it will be cancelled out with this term so what will be the value left after simplifying it it will be limit n tends to infinity x to the power 1 upon 1 plus n will be left and at n tends to infinity what will we get as its value it will be 1 right if it comes 1 then it means the test failed and whenever the test fails we apply a logarithmic test here okay so what do we have in the logarithmic test so limit n tends to infinity this will be n log u n upon u n plus 1 now let's find its value we have limit n tends to infinity of u n upon u n plus 1 this is just the reciprocal so it is its reverse thus we will get this as x to the power 1 upon 1 plus n right is this clear so look here when we will reverse this it will come n log 1 upon x to the power 1 upon n plus 1 right so this will be its term which we will get right now what do we do we will simplify this right 
So, from this the value we will get here is limit n tends to infinity. Here we can write this as n log, we will get the value as 1 by x to the whole power 1 by 1 plus n, right? The power will be applied to the whole thing. We will write it like this. So, this will come, limit n tends to infinity, this power will come ahead. So, n upon 1 plus n log 1 by x, when you will apply n tends to infinity. What will you get when you will apply limit n tends to infinity? We will write limit n tends to infinity. Here also n is coming and we will take out n common from here. So, it will be 1 by n. This n will be cancelled out from this n and log 1 by x will be left. We get log 1 by x on solving this and we know from the logarithmic test if we have log. It means if we have its value greater than 1 on solving. If it comes more than 1, then it is convergent. It means if its value is greater than 1, in that case it is convergent. You guys remember it, right? When we get its value 1, it is convergent. If the log will be removed, then it implies 1 by x is greater than e. When log will be removed, e will come and then it implies that x is less than. Here, x is less than 1 by e. Its value will become less than 1 by e, right? So, on x less than 1 by e, it will be convergent. And if we discuss about when it will be divergent, when x will be greater than 1 by e, then it will be divergent. And when we will have x equals to 1 by e, then in that case, what will happen to the test here? It will fail. Why does the test fail? Because as soon as you set x equal to 1 by e, then its value will become 1. And whenever we have this value as 1 here, then in that case, the test is failed. Now, if the test fails, then what will we do here? When the test fails, what do we do here? We use second logarithmic test. And what is the second test? This is limit n tends to infinity. And we will calculate the value of log un upon un plus 1 minus 1 into log n. Right, students? What is the exact value we are getting? The limit n tends to infinity. What is the value of that? We have already calculated it. Remember, if you check its value, we are getting this value as n tends to infinity. So, ultimately, we will get this value. Right, students? And if we put this same value here, then what we will get here? You will see that we will get this value. It is n upon 1 plus n log 1 by x, right? And what is the value of x? Since here the value of x is 1 by e. So, this becomes log e minus 1 and log n will come, right? And we have put its value as this, right? And in place of x, what did we put? We put 1 by e. So, we know that log e will become 1, right? This will be n tends to infinity. Its value will be n upon 1 plus n minus 1 and it will become log n if you will take the LCM of this. So, it will come limit n tends to infinity n minus 1 minus n by 1 plus n and here it will be log n and n will get cancelled from this n. So, here it will come limit n tends to infinity. From here, we will get minus log n upon 1 plus n and its value was 0 which is less than 1. So, this series here, what will it become? it will become divergent when the value of x will be equal to 1 by e. So, it will be convergent. And if you are asked when it will be divergent, it will be when x comes equal. On x less than 1 by e is convergent. On x greater than or equal to 1 by e, it will be divergent. So, in this way, we can check this series using the second logarithmic test if it is convergent or divergent. Please tell me in the comment box, how much time did you take to solve this question? If you want to see more such videos on series, you will get the link of complete playlist here. If you are looking for short tricks to prepare for CSIR, NET, GATE and IIT JAM, you can find the complete playlist here. You can also subscribe to this channel here. Thank you. Bye-bye.